musicians, you know, we can't afford to give much. You know, a hand to hold, you know, my arms to hug you. You know, I'll always answer the phone if you call, unless someone's calling me for a gig, right? Then I'll have to call you back. But um, usually when I do these little shows, I like to share stories and anecdotes about what happens to musicians out there on, on the job. And I'm sure we have artists out there and actors and dancers and singers who can, who can match these stories, but they're pretty amazing. So one day I'm sitting in this, it's in the evening actually, in this beautiful dress, playing a beautiful baby white grand piano in a beautiful lobby of a hotel in Midtown. And I'm still playing and I hear a voice behind me say, I just wanted to give you a little something special for making our evening so beautiful. And a woman reached over my shoulder and put a bill on the top of the piano. And I didn't want to be rude and stop playing and look at the money. So I just, I nodded my thanks and I, I finished the song. And as she left, I noticed it was a hundred dollar bill. And I was like, wow, sweet. You know, <laughs> I, I could tell you it's happened exactly, it's happened five times since I've been in New York City where I've gotten a one hundred dollar bill. It's, it's a beautiful and generous thing. So I reached under the piano for a CD and I called, uh, wait a minute, I want to give you something. And by then she was across the lobby with her two teenage daughters and they were watching me. And she said, it's not real, it's fake, it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> so I know, I know, right? So I, I was caught off guard. I, I was very embarrassed. I had the CD in my hand. And I thought to myself, all right, let me put myself in her place. She's a God-fearing Southern Baptist visiting New York City. She's having a little fun, yucking it up. You know, so I thought to myself, she might ask herself, WWJD, what would Jesus do, right? And I thought to myself, honey, this in, this in Alabama, this is New York City, WWJD in my book is, what would Joe Pesci do? Okay. <laughs> Joe would have said, oh, <laughs> that's very funny. You must be a clown. I'm a clown too. I, li I like clowns. You want to see my fake gun? I'm a lying clown. Then he would have stepped over the bodies, right? He would have probably gone to the diner across the street, called Harvey Keitel to come clean him up. He would have put him in a suitcase and sent him on an airport shuttle out to some Newark airport and some, you know. And then he would have paid for his cheeseburger with a fake $100 bill and they would have noticed. And he would have got $85 and change, right? But I'm not Joe Pesci. I'm Ann Smith and I went back to playing uh, with a sad heart. But, you know, now it's more uh, therapeutic to write songs when somebody hurts my feelings now. And so... This is a song I wrote for a woman named Mary, not to be confused uh, with my beautiful twin sister who's here tonight. Hi, Mary. But um, yeah, she said a comment to me and I didn't like it, so I, I decided uh, I had to write a song. <laughs> it's called, uh, uh, I just called it Mary, or Mary Do You Love. I was gonna call it Mary, you're really lucky I don't have a gun in my pocketbook. <laughs> <laughs> Always say nice things to my face. You're the self appointed queen of the neighborhood cafe. You sit outside on your little bench and watch the world go by each day. And you're always on the scene. Should anyone fall down, you're a puzzle to me with your cross words and angry frown. Mary, now do you love? Mary, now do you love? Mary, now do you love yourself? Yeah. 
Well, I heard you got a man That he works with iron and steel There's a lesson to be learned in this But it's not my place to reveal Maybe he's the only one Who knows how to bend your pride Without breaking you God knows how many others tried As you make your way back home, the chill is in the air. The summer seems so far away, and soon the trees will all be bare. You're lost inside your thoughts. You scarcely recognize that your face in the glass is crying teardrops from your eyes. My eyelashes are giving me a little bit of trouble. They're fake! They're fake! They're not real! <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs>